Now that we have our new system installed, we're going to put in this ultraviolet light and the brand is Fresh Air UV. First thing you do, take a 5 16 nut driver and remove the cover where the coil is located. So you got the covers off, we got both of them off, and this particular coil has a knockout right here and we're going to use that knockout to mount the light. So the bracket they send you has a magnet where you can mount the light to the magnet or you can break this off and screw it into here to mount your light to. And these are quarter inch self drilling screws. All right, without touching the bulb, you wanna feed this in there and work it around these tubes. And then use these little plastic nuts to hold it on. Bulb is installed. You can see it up through there. And we have to get this plug through here. So we need to drill a 5 8 hole through there. Okay, we got the hole drilled and we can run our plug through and make up this connection. The wire goes down through under the fan and through the hole where the, the fan wires go and into the control where the controls are. So next we're gonna put some crimp on connectors on this little ballast. And we have to install a secondary transformer. So we have a, a one or 240 volt to 24 volt transformer. We're gonna mount them up in here and that's the power source there. So first thing you wanna do is check your power source, make sure it's turned off. And the 240 volt connects to the left side and the ballast connects into the low voltage side of the, of the transformer. Okay, so we got the 240 volt on this side, these two, and the 24 volt coming out of this side going into the ballast. The ballast is going down through, through this hole back here, coming up through here. That's the hole I made into the side and it goes into the light. Power's on, so the last thing we have to do is cover this thing up and put the sight glass in the door. Drill a hole in the cover in a good spot where you can actually see the light from the outside and install the sight glass, and that pretty much finishes this job. And don't forget to put on the sticker with the installation date.